Okay, breaking today, everyone. New reports that Iran is pulling its forces out of Syria. Is the Russian-Iranian coalition breaking up? And if so, what would it mean for the United States? Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin going nuclear. Could it be? Making the point that those Russian cruise missiles he launched at Syria could very easily be equipped with nuclear weapons. Joining me right now is Fox News national security analyst KT McFarland. Uh, good to have you here. First, your thoughts on, on whether or not Iran is actually pulling its forces out. I you buy that? I, I'm not buying that. I mean, there are also indications they're going to start bombing. So maybe they pulled a little bit out because they're doing the normal rotation. Mm -hmm. The more interesting question is, are they pulling out because the general, the head of the Iranian forces, mm -hmm. he's legendary, his name is Qassam Soleimani, head of the Quds Force, is he injured? There were reports about a month ago that he was... He had been part of a drone strike, that maybe he had got some shrapnel to his body. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was seriously injured. Nobody's seen him in public for the last month. So maybe there's a little bit there, but by and large... What would it mean for us if they do pull? Well, here's what I think is happening, is that Putin is sensing a real weakness in the president of the United States. He's looking around and he says, lame duck president, Europe is preoccupied with terrorists and refugees. The United mm -hmm. States is preoccupied with its election. It's my moment. And the one thing about Putin... He's a great judo player, right? So he always uses the weakness of his opponent to his own strength. And he's looking around saying, Obama's lame duck, this is my time. This is my time to flex my muscles in the Middle East, my time to flex my muscles in Europe, my time to flex my muscles all over the world, mm -hmm. threatening well, nuclear weapons and all the rest. Thro threatening nuclear weapons. I mean, Boone Pickens on the show, a big oil tycoon, Boone Pickens, the other day saying, look, there is a new sheriff in town yeah. in the Middle East, and his name is Vladimir Putin. Uh, but let's, let's extend that thesis forward, and uh, suddenly now Putin's going to get stuck being the one to try and take out ISIS, and doing so means to him involving potentially nuclear weapons? Well, I don't think he's really going to take out ISIS yet. He's got several enemies he'd like to get to before ISIS, and that's the opposition to Assad's forces. Okay. Now, Assad is head of Syria, right? We have said Assad's got to go before anything else happens, and Putin says, not a chance. Assad stays, and Assad is still there, and I think Putin's point is to say to the world, I can deliver. I'm the new sheriff, as, as he said. Uh -huh. I'm the sheriff in town. I can keep my guy in America. You don't have anything to do here. And but secondly, Putin gets to physically occupy the space in the Middle East. Yeah. He's got bases. He's got stuff he hasn't had since Henry Kissinger <laughs> maneuvered him out of the Middle East in the 1970s. Let me ask you, um, is, is the U.S. at all losing sight of needing to needing to thwart the real threat, which is out there right now, which mm -hmm. is ISIS? I mean... Yes, I know we want to get rid of Bashar al-Assad, and he's a bad guy, and we got to get yeah. to that. But are we running the risk of getting distracted by Assad and not dealing with the real threat right now, which is ISIS? And it's even bigger than ISIS. It's global jihad. And I completely agree with you. I think that our, we should have one objective, and that's to get rid of the global jihad that's against Western civilization. Currently, the form of it is, is ISIS and the Islamic State. We may have to do what we did in World War II hold our noses and have allies we don't really like and don't have a lot in common with, but because we have the one common enemy. Very Maybe we need to make some kind of an arrangement with the countries in the Middle East that we haven't dealt with before. Maybe we even take advantage of a hacktivist group anonymous to go after ISIS, because we are not winning. Yeah, you know, the war. problem is President Obama isn't going to do any of those things. <laughs> so it would have to wait until a change of regime before uh, any of those coalitions are established. Yeah. Anyway, Katie McFarland, always good to have you here and get your analysis. Thank you very Thank much. You.